All right, so we are starting off with a quick Lee Chess tutorial. Um, I had to redo this because the old one was getting dated. It was uh, almost almost a half a year old. Uh, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And it would also mean a better upload schedule. Anyway, in this video we'll be discussing the basic features of Lee Chess in an effort to replace the old Lee Chess tutorials video. This includes Lee Chess studies, forums, analysis board and board editor features, as well as arena tournaments and teams. For some features or create like creating games or puzzles in the puzzle storm, I have in more detailed videos. I don't want to make this one too long, so I'll just link those in the top right as we get to them. Now, you can also find those on my YouTube channel page that's right below. Just click on the little icon that says chess tutorials and click on the videos tab from there. Alright, so now um now to the tutorial to, to, to the tutorial itself, firstly we're going to take a look around the home page. So we notice over here in the top left corner we have this thing that says leechess.org. This takes you to this page 24-7. So if you ever need to go to the home page, it's going to be there constantly. Never, so it's not going to go away. Alright, now we notice our six sections here, six tabs of activities at the top left corner. Um, we will look at these individually later. We see over here we have a search bar, complete search for any player. So say if I wanted Magnus Carlson, we go Dr. Nighter Stein, and he'd pop up right there. Now, of course, there's a million people who want to copy him now, so they're also going to be there. But anyway, um, over here we have a challenges thing. So if I want to challenge someone, what we can do is a little icon will pop up, and the icon will look like a little one or two or three, or depending on how many challenges you have, that's what it's going to look like. So if I want to challenge someone, you know what's going to happen. I'll click on that and do you see that challenge? Now, you can either decline it, accept it, or you can respond. So if I want to say, please send, send me a rated challenge instead, I could say, please send me a rated challenge, and the other guy's going to get something that says, please send me a rated challenge instead from Frost Knight one again or whatever your username is personally. Now, um, looking over here, we have a notice bell, and that's where your private messages or your um, notifications are. Over here, we have our profile, so you can click on this, and this is my public profile. Um, that's my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, we have our inbox. Don't need to look at that. Um, you can sign out. We have preferences. These are just a bunch of settings, uh, and then we have language, sound, background, ge board geometry, board theme, PSET, so if I want to change my PSET or whatever. Let's go back to the home page by clicking that top left. Alright, so now if we go back to the home page, over here we have some popular streamers. Um, these are just all chess streamers, as you think, chess, puzzle storm, anti-chess, puzzles, Swedish rapid chess, bullet cash tournament. And then we have a game creator, so now linked in the top right should be a link to my creating games and challenging players on linkchess.org, but we will briefly look at this. Basically, you can, this is like a quick pairing because pretty much anyone will play this. There's over a hundred thousand players right now. Go into the lobby. These are some unusual things, like it's casual instead of rated. These, this is correspondence. This is a day or more. I have a correspondence game. I just played G4. Hopefully that's not bad. I'm playing an FM. <laughs> I can play with the computer here. Play with a friend, that's what I just demonstrated. That's from over here. We can create a normal game, and that will appear in the lobby if we do that one. Now, over here, we have some important events. See, there's an end game course coming up soon that's going to be totally free because that's what Leeches stand. That's what Leeches stands for. Blitz Title Arena is going to be coming up in a, in a day or so. Uh, Daily Rapid Arena, and we have a few other things over here. Over here we have the um, the top game. Those are the highest rated players on Leechess. Leaderboard, tournament winners, puzzle of the day. That's over here. It's usually white to play over there. Down here we have the latest updates. This is like a news thing. Um, simuls, tournaments, forum posts, etc. So now let's look up over here. This is the this create a game button is the same one over here. So we don't need to look at that. Arena tournaments. These are held all day by Lee Chess. If you just click on one, 
you'll see you have to meet these requirements so i have played 10 rapid rated games so i can join this tournament it is a green join button now if you haven't meet, meet these requirements you can go over here and see if you can go try to play 10 games outside of the tournament swiss tournaments you have to belong to teams so like if i i belong to this team it'll show up right here now if we go into simultaneous exhibitions you can host new simuls or you can play in other people's simuls usually there's not too many simuls these are the finished simuls notice a lot of these only have one or two people all right so let's this puzzle dashboard it's really simple basically just play puzzles and get a rating uh, there's a more detailed video in the top right. Now let's go to this learn tab. If we just click on it, we get these basic things like checkmate patterns, basic tactics, intermediate tactics, pawn endgames, rook endgames, etc. And now basically practice is the same thing. It's or sorry, chess basics is the same thing, same idea. They're literally the exact same thing. They're just different different types. Now coordinates, just practicing your coordinates. So if I hit start training says look at d2 and i'll just click d2 or a4 or g3 or c1 etc now we don't need to finish this all right study this is important and i will link my video in the top right this is a really important feature of leeches coaches basically if i click on this guy he's a cm uh, i can't read this because it's in turkish but basically you send him a private message and he will check you out and then he will see if he wants to be a student or not. Now notice they all have hourly rates and they have ratings as well. All right, players. This is basically just a leaderboard and all the top online players. It's really simple. Rating stats, if we just look over here, just like some statistics, nothing you really need to know about. Tournament winners, it's the same idea as on the homepage. Shield is another thing that we don't need to talk about right now. Online bots, they're just bots. <laughs> and then if we look in the watch thing, we have Leech STV. We have the current games, which is like the exact same thing. Uh, we have some streamers, some chess streamers, just like on the homepage. We have some broadcasts. Uh, and we have a video library of people who like videos. Okay, players. Um, oh, sorry. Tools. Um, so our analysis board. Basically, you can just play moves on here. It won't get saved. If you want to get saved, then do use that study tab. Notice um, Stockfish 11 is what's showing up over here, but if you have a more power, powerful machine, you will have access to Stockfish 13. Notice there is an FEN and a PGN below. The board editor is the same idea, but the thing is you can edit. So if like I want to randomly put a pawn here and a pawn there. All right. Uh, importing games, you can take games that say if you played them in real life, and you could take and put them in there. Advanced search, you can search for players. So if I wanted a game between Magnus Carlsen and Alreza, I could do that. Now that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.